Trenton is the capital city of the U.S. state of New Jersey and the county seat of Mercer County, as well as briefly the former capital of the United States of America. The city's a metropolitan area is grouped with the New York metropolitan area by the United States Census Bureau, but directly borders the Philadelphia metropolitan area and is a part of the Federal Communications Commission's Philadelphia designated market area. As of the 2010 United States Census, Trenton had a population of 84,913, making it the state's 10th largest municipality. The Census Bureau estimated that the city's population was 84,034 in 2014. Trenton dates back at least to June 3, 1719, when mention was made of a constable being appointed for Trenton. While the area was still part of Hunterdon County, boundaries were recorded for Trenton Township as of March 2, 1720. A courthouse and jail were constructed in Trenton around 1720 and the freeholders of Hunterdon County met annually in Trenton. Trenton became New Jersey's capital as of November 25, 1790, and the city of Trenton was formed within Trenton Township on November 13, 1792. On February 22, 1834, portions of Trenton Township were taken to form Ewing Township. The remaining portion of Trenton Township was absorbed by the city of Trenton on April 10, 1837. A series of annexations took place over a 50-year period, with the city absorbing South Trenton Borough, portions of Nottingham Township, both the borough of Chambersburg Township and Millam Township, as well as Wilbur Borough. Portions of Ewing Township and Hamilton Township were annexed to Trenton as of March 23, 1900. History The first settlement which would become Trenton was established by Quakers in 1679, in the region then called the Falls of the Delaware, led by Marlon Stacy from Hansworth, Sheffield, England. Quakers were being persecuted in England at this time and North America provided the perfect opportunity to exercise their religious freedom. By 1719, the town adopted the name Trent Town after William Trent, one of its leading landholders who purchased much of the surrounding land from Stacy's family. This name later was shortened to Trenton. During the American Revolutionary War, the city was the site of the Battle of Trenton, George Washington's first military victory. On December 26, 1776, Washington and his army, after crossing the icy Delaware River to Trenton, defeated the Hessian troops garrisoned there. After the war, the Confederation Congress briefly met in Trenton in November and December 1784. The city was considered as a permanent capital for the new country, but the southern states favored a location south of the Mason-Dixon line. Trenton became the state capital in 1790, but prior to that year the New Jersey legislature often met to hear. The city was incorporated in 1792. During the War of 1812, the United States Army's primary hospital was at a site on Broad Street. Throughout the 19th century, Trenton grew steadily, as European immigrants came to work in its pottery and wire rope mills. In 1837, with the population now too large for government by council, a new mayoral government was adopted, with bylaws that remain in operation to this day. Geography According to the United States Census Bureau, the city had a total area of 8.155 square miles including 7.648 square miles of land and 0.507 square mile of water. Several bridges across the Delaware River, the Trenton-Morrisville Toll Bridge, Lower Trenton Bridge and Calhoun Street Bridge, connect Trenton to Morrisville, Pennsylvania, all of which are operated by the Delaware River Joint Toll Bridge Commission. Trenton is located near the exact geographic center of the state, which is five miles located southeast of Trenton. Due to this, it is sometimes included as part of North Jersey and as the southernmost city of the tri-state region, while others consider it a part of South Jersey and thus, the northernmost city of the Delaware Valley. 
Trenton has long been part of the Philadelphia television market. However, following the 2000 United States Census, Trenton was shifted from the Philadelphia Metropolitan Statistical Area to the New York Metropolitan Statistical Area, with a similar shift by the New Haven, Connecticut area to the New York area. They were the first two cases where metropolitan statistical areas differed from their defined Nielsen television markets. However, Mercer County constitutes its own metropolitan statistical area, formerly known as the Trenton Ewing MSA. Locals consider Trenton to be a part of ambiguous central Jersey, and thus part of neither region. They are generally split as to whether they are within New York or Philadelphia's sphere of influence. While it is geographically closer to Philadelphia, many people who have recently moved to the area commute to New York City, and have moved there to escape the New York region's high housing costs. Trenton is one of two state capitals that border another state, the other being Carson City, Nevada. Trenton borders Ewing Township, Hamilton Township and Lawrence Township in Mercer County, and Falls Township, Lower Makefield Township and Morrisville in Bucks County, Pennsylvania across the Delaware River. Neighborhoods The city of Trenton is home to numerous neighborhoods and sub-neighborhoods. The main neighborhoods are taken from the four cardinal directions. Trenton was once home to large Italian, Hungarian, and Jewish communities. But since the 1950s demographic shifts have changed the city into a relatively segregated urban enclave of middle and lower income African Americans. Italians are scattered throughout the city, but a distinct Italian community is centered in the Chambersburg neighborhood in South Trenton. This community has been in decline since the 1970s, largely due to economic and social shifts to the more prosperous, less crime-ridden suburbs surrounding the city. Today Chambersburg has a large Latino community. Many of the Latino immigrants are from Mexico, Guatemala and Nicaragua. There is also a significant and growing Asian community in the Chambersburg neighborhood primarily made up of Burmese and Bhutanese, Nepali refugees. The North Ward, once a mecca for the city's middle class, is now one of the most economically distressed. Torn apart by race riots following the assassination of Martin Luther King in 1968. Nonetheless, the area still retains many important architectural and historic sites. North Trenton still has a large Polish-American neighborhood that borders Lawrence Township, many of whom attend St. Hedwig's Roman Catholic Church on Brunswick Avenue. St. Hedwig's Church was built in 1904 by Polish immigrants, many of whose families still attend the church. North Trenton is also home to the historic Shiloh Baptist Church, one of the largest houses of worship in Trenton and the oldest African-American church in the city. Founded in 1888, the church is currently pastored by Rev. Darrell L. Armstrong, who carried the Olympic torch in 2002 for the Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City. Also located just at the southern tip of North Trenton is the city's battle monument, also known as Five Points. It is a 150-feet structure that marks the spot where George Washington's Continental Army launched the Battle of Trenton during the American Revolutionary War. It faces downtown Trenton and is a symbol of the city's historic past. South Ward is the most diverse neighborhood in Trenton and is home to many Latin American, Italian American, and African American residents. East Ward is the smallest neighborhood in Trenton and is home to the Trenton Transit Center and Trenton Central High School. Recently, two campuses have been added, Trenton Central High School West and Trenton Central High School North, respectively, in those areas of the city. The Chambersburg neighborhood is within the East Ward, and was once noted in the region as a destination for its many Italian restaurants and pizzerias. With changing demographics, many of these businesses have either closed or relocated to suburban locations. West Ward is the home of Trenton's more suburban neighborhoods. Neighborhoods in the city include 
Downtown Trenton Hanover, Academy Mill Hill, East Trenton Colport, North Clinton Ewing, Carroll Greenwood, Hamilton Villa Park Wilbur, Western Trenton Barclay Square Cadwallader Heights Central West Fisher, Ritchie, Perda Carrerish Glen Afton Hillcrest Hiltonia Parkside Pennington, Prospect. Stuyvesant, Prospect the Island West End, South Trenton Chambersburg, Chestnut Park, Duck Island, Franklin Park, Lamberton, Waterfront, North Trenton Battle Monument, North 25 Top Road. Climate According to the Köppen Climate Classification, Trenton lies in the transition from a humid subtropical to a humid continental climate with four seasons of approximately equal length and precipitation fairly evenly distributed through the year. Winters are cold and damp. The daily average temperature in January is 31.1 degrees Fahrenheit, and temperatures at or below 10 degrees Fahrenheit occur on 3.9 nights annually, while there are 16 minus 17 days where the temperature fails to rise above freezing. Summers are hot and humid, with a July daily average of 75.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperatures reaching or exceeding 90 degrees Fahrenheit occur on 15 minus 16 days. Extremes in temperature have ranged from minus 14 degrees Fahrenheit on February 9, 1934, up to 106 degrees Fahrenheit as recently as July 22, 2011. However, temperatures reaching 0 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Fahrenheit are uncommon. The average precipitation is 46.4 inches per year, which is fairly evenly distributed through the year. The driest month on average is February, with 2.31 in of precipitation on average while the wettest month is July, with 4.95 in of rainfall on average. The all-time single-day rainfall record is 7.25 in on September 16, 1999, during the passage of Hurricane Floyd. The all-time monthly rainfall record is 14.55 in in August 1955, due to the passage of Hurricane Connie and Hurricane Diane. The wettest year on record was 1996, when 67.90 in of precipitation fell. On the flip side, the driest month on record was October 1963, when only 0.05 in of rain was recorded. The 28.79 in of precipitation recorded in 1957 were the lowest ever for the city. Snowfall can vary even more year to year. The average snowfall is 23.4 inches, but has ranged from as low as 2 in in the winter of 1918-19 to as high as 76.9 in in 1995-96 which included the greatest single storm snowfall, the blizzard of January 7-8, 1996, when 24.2 inches of snow fell. Demographics 2010 Census At the 2010 United States Census, there were 84,913 people, 28,578 households, and 17,747 families residing in the city. The population density was 11,101.9 per square mile. There were 33,035 housing units at an average density of 4,319.2 per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 26.56% white, 52.01% black or African American, 0.70% Native American, 1.19% Asian, 0.13% Pacific Islander, 15.31% from other races, and 4.10% from two or more races. Hispanics or Latinos of any race were 33.71% of the population. There were 28,578 households, of which 32.0% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 25.1% were married couples living together, 28.1% had a female householder with no husband present, and 37.9% were non-families. 
30.8% of all households were made up of individuals, and 9.1% had someone living there alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.79 and the average family size was 3.40. In the city, 25.1% of the population were under the age of 18, 11.0% from 18 to 24, 32.5% from 25 to 44, 22.6% from 45 to 64 and 8.8% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 32.6 years. For every 100 females there were 106.5 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 107.2 males. The Census Bureau's 2006-2010 American Community Survey showed that median household income was $36,601 and the median family income was $41,491. Males had a median income of $29,884 versus $31,319 for females. The per capita income for the city was $17,400. About 22.4% of families and 24.5% of the population were below the poverty line, including 36.3% of those under age 18 and 17.5% of those age 65 or over. 2000 censuses of the 2000 United States Census there were 85,403 people, 29,437 households, and 18,692 families residing in the city. The population density was 11,153.6 people per square mile. There were 33,843 housing units at an average density of 4,419.9 per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 52.06% black, 32.55% white, down from 88.6% in 1950, 0.35% Native American, 0.84% Asian, 0.23% Pacific Islander. 10.76% from other races, and 3.20% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 21.53% of the population. There were 29,437 households, 32.4% of which had children under the age of 18 living with them. 29.0% were married couples living together, 27.1% had a female householder with no husband present, and 36.5% were non-families. 29.7% of all households were made up of individuals and 12.0% had someone living there alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.75 and the average family size was 3.38. In the city the population was spread out with 27.7% under the age of 18, 10.1% from 18 to 24, 31.9% from 25 to 44, 18.9% from 45 to 64, and 11.4% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 32 years. For every 100 females there were 97.6 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 96.0 males. The median income for a household in the city was $31,074, and the median income for a family was $36,681. Males had a median income of $29,721 versus $26,943 for females. The per capita income for the city was $14,621.
About 17.6% of families and 21.1% of the population were below the poverty line, including 26.8% of those under age 18 and 19.5% of those age 65 or over. Top 10 ethnicities reported during the 2000 census by percentage were African American, Puerto Rican, Italian, Irish, Polish, Guatemalan, English, Jamaican, Hungarian, Mexican, economy. Trenton was a major manufacturing center in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. One relic of that era is the slogan, Trenton makes, the world takes, which is displayed on the Lower Free Bridge. The city adopted the slogan in 1917 to represent Trenton's then leading role as a major manufacturing center for rubber, wire rope ceramics and cigars. Along with many other United States cities in the 1970s, Trenton fell on hard times when manufacturing and industrial jobs declined. Concurrently, state government agencies began leasing office space in the surrounding suburbs. State government leaders attempted to revitalize the downtown area by making it the center of state government. Between 1982 and 1992, more than a dozen office buildings were constructed primarily by the state to house state officers. Today, Trenton's biggest employer is still the state of New Jersey. Each weekday, 20,000 state workers flood into the city from the surrounding suburbs. Urban Enterprise Zone portions of Trenton are part of an urban enterprise zone. In addition to other benefits to encourage employment within the zone, shoppers can take advantage of a reduced 3.5% sales tax rate at eligible merchants. Arts and Culture New Jersey State Museum combines a collection of archaeology and ethnography, fine art, cultural history and natural history. New Jersey State House was originally constructed by Jonathan Doan in 1792, with major additions made in 1845, 1865 and 1871. New Jersey State Library serves as a central resource for libraries across the state as well as serving the state legislature and government. Trenton City Museum, housed in the Italianate style 1848 Lee Mansion since 1978. The museum features artworks and other materials related to the city's history. Trenton War Memorial, completed in 1932 as a memorial to the war dead from Mercer County during World War I and owned and operated by the state of New Jersey. The building is home to a theater with 1,800 seats that reopened in 1999 after an extensive five-year-long renovation project. Old Barracks, dating back to 1758 and the French and Indian War. The barracks were used by both the Continental Army and British forces during the Revolutionary War and stands as the last remaining colonial barracks in the state. Trenton Battle Monument, located in the heart of the Five Points neighborhood. The monument was built to commemorate the Continental Army's victory in the December 26, 1776 Battle of Trenton. The monument was designed by John H. Duncan and features a statue of George Washington atop a pedestal that stands on a granite column 148 feet in height. Trenton City Hall, the building was constructed based on a 1907 design by architect Spencer Roberts and opened to the public in 1910. The council chambers stand two stories high and features a mural by Everett Shin that highlights Trenton's industrial history. William Trent House, constructed in 1719 by William Trent, who the following year laid out what would become the city of Trenton. The house was owned by Governor Lewis Morris, who used the house as his official residence in the 1740s. Governor Philemon Dickerson used the home as his official residence in the 1830s, as did Rodman M. Price in the 1850s. Sports Because of Trenton's relative distance to New York City and Philadelphia, and because most homes in Mercer County receive network broadcasts from both cities, locals are sharply divided in fan loyalty between both cities. 
It is common to find Philadelphia's Phillies, Eagles, 76ers, Union and Flyers fans cheering right alongside fans of New York's Yankees, Mets, Nets, Knicks, Rangers, Jets, Red Bulls and Giants or the New Jersey Devils. Between 1948 and 1979 Trenton Speedway, located in adjacent Hamilton Township, hosted world-class auto racing. Drivers such as Jim Clark, Jay Foyt, Mario Andretti, Al Unser, Bobby Unser, Richard Petty and Bobby Allison raced on the one-mile asphalt oval and then reconfigured one-and-a-half-mile racetrack. The Speedway, which closed in 1980, was part of the larger New Jersey State Fairgrounds complex, which also closed in 1983. The former site of the Speedway and Fairgrounds is now the grounds for sculpture. The Trenton Thunder, a double-A minor league team affiliated with the New York Yankees that is owned by Joe Plumery, plays at 6,341-seat Armin Hammer Park, the stadium which Plumery had previously named after his father in 1999. The Trent and Freedom of the Professional Indoor Football League were founded in 2013 and played their games at the Sun National Bank Center. The Freedom ended operations in 2015, joining the short-lived Trent and Steel and Trent and Lightning as indoor football teams that had brief operating lives at the arena.